cognitive science suggests that religious belief is an evolutionary product, or even byproduct, of a long process of natural selection and adaptation. That is, religious belief might be explainable in evolutionary terms. If we can explain how the brain works and why we have evolved the cognitive capacity to form religious beliefs, then have we effectively explained away God or rendered belief in God redundant? Another battle that's often mentioned is over Darwin. Scientists look at the fossil record and conclude that the earth is a certain age and humans came from a certain place. And how would you determine the age of the earth? The scientists would say it's you know, 4.5 billion years old, as we can tell through chemical analysis of rocks and so on. Or in a conservative Protestant version, uh, the earth is six to 7,000 years old that would be known through the Bible. These are supposedly incompatible ways of knowing about the world. In particular, I want to consider a familiar dialectic in which both the theist and the atheist end up accusing each other of irrationality. Even worse, each party of the debate explains the irrationality that they find by positing some moral or intellectual flaw in the other person. Each thinks the evidence points to a clear conclusion. If you don't see things the way I do, it must be that you are being irrational in some way. You could be a straight theist believing in God, and you could pack into it all kinds of subtle philosophical content. And now you've got a conception of God that clearly requires some kind of philosophical response. Science might have some role to play, but it wouldn't all by itself be usable as a, as a way of showing that this claim is false. There is an American philosopher of science named Alex Rosenberg who has written on scientism and who has uh, defended scientism himself in detail. And he says, scientism is the conviction that the methods of science are the only reliable ways to secure knowledge of anything. Science provides all these significant truths about reality and knowing such truths is what real understanding is about. Take no one's word for it. Always check for yourself. And this is a very important part of what it means to be a good scientist. Not to just receive the authority of others, but to always engage in empirical inquiry and observation.